friends welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a super exciting one today is going to be classroom setup day one so if you guys are new to my channel i am a second year kindergarten teacher i am in the same classroom which is very exciting and so i have some things that i want to organize put up i want to change some bulletin boards and things like that our classroom is set up already to accommodate for if slash when we come back in person and have to have six feet between each seat. So I can't move any of the furniture, but I am going to kind of just make sure that our classroom is ready for whenever we come back. I am going to have conferences with all of my families and students in person. Um, for the first seven days of school and so I do want our classroom to look all put together and ready to go And I also am going to be teaching from here So I do want it to be all put together and ready. So that is what we are going to do today I'm so excited to be back in the classroom because it seems like it has been forever since I have been here And I'm just so excited for the school year to start So if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up Also make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos and let's get started I'm gonna show you guys what my classroom looks like right now before I set anything up so this is what my classroom looks like right now and as I mentioned I'm not going to be able to move any of the furniture but I am going to like redo this board put up my borders and stuff on my word wall I'm changing out my numbers because I made new ones I need to switch out our birthday board and redo the front and then all of the stuff that I packed up and put away um, during the springtime when we closed up our classrooms I'm going to take out and put everything back out again so this is what my classroom looks like to start and I think the very first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take down that old word wall label because I made a new one take down the little pocket chart and then start putting up the bulletin board all right we just hold tight We're up at the moonlight Believe in the magic On sight We'll make it feel just right Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic And we can save you from your past This bond is always gonna you gonna do we're doing it all the feeling is so maybe you got me believe in the magic we're doing it all the feeling is so maybe you got me believe in the magic maybe you got me Line. We're way past sunshine, believe in the magic All right, step into the moonlight Get into that good time, believe in the magic And we can save you from your past This bond is always gonna last When nothing else makes sense, just stay So I just finished this border. I don't think you can really tell from very far away, but it just has the black and white polka dots and then the blue behind it. And I think it looks really cute. And I'm gonna have um, letters that say word wall in black and then have all the letters in black. So I think it will be like a nice contrast with the light border. And so now I think I'm gonna do the same thing but over here, the only tricky part is I don't think we are allowed to staple into the wall. And so I'm going to have to use tape, but I'm going to try it and see if it works. So I need to take down all these clips and then also those two things. And then that's going to be where I hang some anchor charts. And I think I'm going to leave like this much space 
because normally I have a writing center here and so that way I can like display like monthly words or whatever and so I think I'm gonna start the bulletin board right here so hopefully this works I'm gonna try it out and see if it works triple a credits all right hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane 24 twice she's on the phone but she's staying on will shop boulevard old dreams dying hard he wants you to return this love bulletin board is definitely not perfect at all the little flag holder really like made it so that I had to go a little bit more to the left but my vision for this is that I want to get like two big googly eyes I want to say like look what we're learning and then um, I ordered a little like adjustable what are they called like towel rack so that I can hang anchor charts from it and so then I will have a space that I can display some of our anchor charts. So that's my idea for this wall. Um, it definitely is a lot easier to use staples than it is to use painter's tape. So if you have the choice, definitely recommend staples over the tape, but I like it. I think it turned out pretty cute. I think it will look really cute once it's like fully done with like the title and stuff and the little rack. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. So I finished this bulletin board in this one and I'm like really out of breath. I'm really tired. I feel like the first day of classroom setup is always like so exhausting. I think just like being back in the classroom and like having so many things that you wanna do and like doing a lot of different things at once is a little bit stressful, but we're doing it. And so I think what I'm gonna do next, I want to redo that color bulletin board I have the letters and stuff cut out and I did buy like some shiplap paper I could try to put over that wall if I really wanted to but again I can't use staples so I'm wondering if it's worth it or not so I don't know I might not do the paper and might just like add a border to it so that it looks a little bit more put together I don't know though can't decide so I'm gonna think about that I also need to redo the border on my whiteboard so again it's the same like blue colored border it's just this board at from Michaels it's like four dollars I really really like this I like the blue color because I think it like makes it calming so I need to do that. I don't know if I want to do that right now, but then if I finish this, then I'm like almost done with all the borders, which would be really nice. So I don't know. I might just do it so I can be done with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to do that. And so this time last year, I put it on top of the whiteboards, but my friend, she actually put it on top of this little silver thing and it looks so much better. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think it'll be easier because it'll just be one long strip of borders. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we will see how that turns out. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette Be myself. 
Hello friends, it is a little while later now. I had to let my battery charge and so I've gotten quite a few things done. I feel like I haven't accomplished like that much. Like it still looks really chaotic, but I can't tell if it's because like all that stuff is over there or if it's because this room is rearranged in a really weird way with chairs in the middle of the room. I can't tell, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've gotten done in the past little bit. All right, so I showed you guys this um, little makeshift bulletin board. Um, I do think it's gonna look cute when it comes together. I need to order the little eyeballs that I want and make the letters to put up there, but I think it'll look really cute when it's all done. I hung up these cute little stars that are from Target. I finished putting up the blue bulletin border up here. And I think it looks really nice. And then I changed out my learning target um, sign and so now it's black and I really 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 like it um, I think the black looks really nice and so I just put that up there and then I think I might put another strip of blue on the inside of each door just because usually these doors are open because our board is in there so I don't know I'm gonna think about it and then I also finished this bulletin board and I started to put together the words for it and so obviously it's gonna say word wall and I think it will look really nice I need to get more painters tape though to like finish putting it up and then I think that's all that I've done so far so I feel like I've been here for a while and haven't really gotten that much stuff done here let me sit down to chat with you guys so as I said I feel like I've been here for a while but I haven't accomplished like that much but a lot of it is just like the tedious like putting together bulletin boards and fun fact you guys I am the slowest person at putting together bulletin boards it's literally my least favorite thing um, I know I'm a teacher and I don't like bulletin boards Ugh. but it takes me forever to put it up and especially since we aren't allowed to use staples in a lot of our walls it makes it a lot harder to put up the borders and stuff but I'm really happy that I got most of them done I do want to redo that color one that I have talked about throughout today but I just don't know if I should do the paper or not I think I might try it really fast while I'm here this evening and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work and that's fine but I feel like I should at least try. My only other problem is that I only have that blue border that I'm using everywhere left. I feel like it will look nice against the shiplap possibly, but I don't think it would look nice against the like pink wall. So I need to figure that out. But it's just a crazy year to be setting up your classroom. Like it's just a lot different. And it's hard because I haven't gotten all the guidance on what we are allowed to have in our room and what we are not allowed to have in our room and what we should put away like all that stuff back there i don't know if i should be putting it out or if i need to like put it in storage or like what i need to do with it and so that makes it a little bit hard and yeah so i don't know i think i'm gonna try and do that bulletin board really fast before i go it is like 5 45 but i did get here at like one and i just did like cutting out all these little pieces i'm gonna try and do that wall really fast <laughs> That was a fail um a i cut it wrong it wasn't long enough b i got a paper cut and then i got blood on the paper while trying to put it up so that was a complete fail so i think i'm going to scratch that for tonight and then maybe have my coworker try and help me tomorrow because i do really like how it looks i think it looks really really cute so i think i am gonna do it but just not right now because i think it's too hard for me to try and do it by myself 
I just can't get it right. And I tried using a thumbtack to like to try and like get it in the corner so that I would stay and then it ripped because it's not the better than paper brand. It's just like, I don't know, I got it at Michael's. So just some cute little paper. And so I am just gonna try again tomorrow when I can have someone here with me helping. And I think it will look really cute though. So I think that is everything I am going to do today. It is like six o'clock. I need to go home and eat dinner and just call it a wrap. It was a pretty successful first day. I always feel like I'm super overwhelmed the first day that I am setting up my classroom just because I have like a million things that I want to do and I can't do them all all at once. So I just need to go home, take a breather. I need to like prioritize what I want to get done. And I am going to be figuring out, you know, the whole virtual teaching space. I am going to be teaching from this back kidney table. This wall right here is dry erase. So I am going to use that while I'm teaching. I ordered a little laptop stand so I can like have it actually at eye level while I'm teaching. And I have like pocket charts and I'm going to put one of the magnetic little rods on there so that I can like do anchor charts and stuff like that. I just don't have that stuff yet. It's coming in the mail. So once that stuff comes in, then I will set up my little teaching space, which is exciting. So that is pretty much it for classroom setup day one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you can see more of my classroom setup videos. Also, I will link down below my classroom setup videos from last year. If you weren't able to see those ones, you can watch those if you want. So. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep